so this is the script uh, this is the script of the uh, Arduino that I'm uh, that I'm you're currently using for the tone um, generator the main part of the program is this now this serial dot available uh, it, it just waits for some serial data to uh, to be sent by the user through the serial port and uh, once it recognizes that something has been sent it just reads the data and then um, sets the value for c now c a better value would be would have been f but um, okay um, c is that's a frequency value so uh, if you if you know anything about the tone module module that is already there on um, it takes in the value for the pin and then the frequency and then the milliseconds that this tone has to be played so what that does is um, it takes the user input and plays the uh, tone like it loops the tone until the user sort of gives you another tone to play so suppose you have 100 hertz that is playing it'll keep on playing 100 hertz until the user decides to change it to some other value so we will be using uh, low frequency tones for this um, so that you'll be able to hear it better so um, this has been this is the program that has been burned to the Arduino. you know and uh, if you how does how does the user send serial data you're asking so uh, you open the python console and then uh, open the serial port in my case it is tty acm1 and at the same 9600 baud rate and uh, now in order to give an input to the Arduino, you know you just write serial dot write and uh, you pack the data pack the number that you have you're sending uh, as a binary now before we get into the audio part of it i want you to sort of see what the arduino is sort of sending so if you send this from the computer you can see that it immediately sort of prints 100 on the a serial monitor so that means it has recognized that as 100 so that's the crux of it so, so now let's listen to the audio that's 100 hertz now if if i want to change it to some other value let's say 120 i just need to rest do the same command and just change the value that I'm giving there bam that's all it's really that simple okay I just passed in to open up the FFT app and uh, you can see that uh, this is printing out 119.95 it's just 120 Hertz so it is giving out a 120 Hertz now say you want to change it you want to go to 80 and if you if you sort of want to set that just click on that and then bam changed 80 hertz now 90 if you want to give 90 just go change this value the fft goes a little bit hey why but okay so that's the idea i mean you can sort of like give any value to the input any value as input and um, the output will be a square wave of that particular frequency it's a really neat thing to do but uh, i mean i mean considering that you can only do square wave it's a little bit of a disadvantage but then uh, this thing is powerful that this methodology of just giving um, input via the user giving input via the uh, serial port is something really interesting and um, that's about it bye